Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will see how to use Microsoft Teams for coordinating with the students and teaching them. First of all, we will go to teams.microsoft.com. We click here, it will bring us here. So here we have to enter our university ID, uh, full email. So I'll just click on mine. It will take me to the university's official page. I'll go there. I'll enter the password. I'll sign in. Okay. So once we sign in, we are taken to this place where we have all of the Microsoft products that we are entitled to from the university. So uh, this is the Teams web uh, like a web interface. So if you like to install the app on your computer, which is better because then you don't need to go to the browser every time it stays installed and it stays signed in. Okay, so for that matter, you have to click on the bottom left over here. You click here and it will ask you where do you want to download. So it is available for both Mac and Windows. So once you have, assuming that you have downloaded and installed it, we'll just open it and it looks like this. Uh, university organization's ID, full email address and the full password. And then we will go ahead to the next steps. So I've entered the email and password. I'll... All right. So I'll be inside Microsoft Teams like this. This is the interface. A number of options. It's a very feature rich app. So first thing is that on the bottom left, you have join or create a team. We will create a team. We'll click here and we will give this a name. Okay, for example, I am calling it group 16. Description is optional. This, this is again, it's your team. So you will just be the owner can add the member. So it's just you as a teacher. So we click next. After we click next. Now, this is one place where we have to see how will we add the members. Now, there are a number of options. Uh, since it is linked with the university's directory, if it is a team member like another teacher, you can try try writing the name of the teacher and it will start appearing here. And uh, otherwise, you have to just copy paste the email addresses of the students here so that you can form a team. How do we do that? We have those inside the LMS. That is the blackboard. We have the email addresses inside the LMS. And you can ask the students to send those to you also. And you can pull the emails from here and uh, copy paste them one by one. It is going to be a little bit of work, but you will finally be there. Now, this is the group I have. I will open the blackboard on the bot on the left side. I have something called users and groups. I will open the page of the group I am teaching. Okay. And there, this is user and groups. You click on users. Here are your students along with their email addresses. So we'll just right click, copy email address, right click, paste. And you just add him as a guest. And then same goes for all of them. So I will actually copy and paste all of them here. All right. So it may, uh, it may prompt you that this person, you are adding it as a guest. For example, I'll do this one. I'll copy and I'll paste. It will prompt me add this as a guest. I'll say yes. So like this, I will add no matter how many students I have. I'll add them as a team and then I will be uh, showing you how can we communicate. All right. So I have added all of the email addresses uh, of the students. They are about 18, I guess, 18 or 19, 18. So it's up to you. You want to copy paste from here or if you have the list of the emails already with you in an Excel or something like that, you can just copy it once and paste it over here. So there are a number of options that you can adopt. Okay. This is, this is how I have done it. It's like, uh, I found it time efficient. So I'll just click add. So when I click add, it will show me that it is adding. All right. So the ones who are added, they will be having guest written in front of them, the ones who are not. So I'll just retry it. So upon a couple of retries, all of them are added. So let's try this guy again. He's added again. He's also added again. So you can do them one by one too. Like you can see I'm doing. Okay. So I have added these guys in uh, one in my class. So 
they are now all members of my group i'll close it i'll come back here so very quickly what are we doing with this let's close this one and this is my group so it shows what have i done i have added all these things so uh, like a standard messenger you will just click here and if you like to start a conversation all of these people will be notified all at once because this is your group so when you chat they will get notified on the students end they need to install the same app using the same process like i have shown in the earlier part of the video they have to write their uqu username and password to get into this place and download the app and sign in the app with their university ids it's important because this id that you can see over here of a student if he uses that only then he will be avail he will be able to communicate with you and receive your messages and receive your calls so please make sure you understand that unlike the other platforms that we have seen like uh, webex where we have a link so whoever has a link will click it doesn't really matter that his email address is the same as his username but in this case yes since it is something uh, under the umbrella of microsoft all right so if we chat with them it happens like that and the thing that we are concerned mostly is this one and even if you like to send them something as an attachment you can do that like any file or any pdf or any image so this is the meet now button you click that this is the meet now so if you start with your camera on or off that's your option it will show you a preview how you look like you like to fix something in the background or yourself click meet now and we have a full-fledged thing opening so now the people are i'm waiting for are actually uh, i'm waiting for them so the meeting is started so as they keep coming in they will appear on my right this is the height part the participant if i click this the participants will not be visible if i click that i will see them this is show conversation again now in this layout these things are interchangeable you cannot have both of them in this at the same time i think this is how it is yeah so if i click the participants chat is gone this is something you need to remember okay and here more actions this is the things like show device setting enter full screen start video with blur this is important interesting that you can start your video and you can blur the background so that your audience only sees you does not see the background and you can start recording like other platforms we have seen this is uh, the more more actions okay turn off incoming video if someone uh, accidentally opens his uh, video and it keeps coming to you you can just click this button and his anything other than your own uh, video or audio will be blocked okay again standard thing turn on camera turn off camera this is the microphone okay and this is if you're using windows it, it might ask you that this program is trying to record or use your microphone or camera you have to allow those things on the first use so here you have things like uh, these application these some of the presentations i had you can click browse and it will it can take you to your onedrive so onedrive and every microsoft product they are linked you can upload things here also you have a whiteboard so that's a very sleek whiteboard by the way it really looks nice and the options it has are many so this is the whiteboard so what are you going to do here are the cool things about it you have different colors of things and you can just uh, play around if you like and you can erase them also once you are done so this is pretty smooth by the way so once you are done using it you can even save the whatever you have done as an image and you can later share it with students it's, it's a very handy tool by the way all right so this is it this is it about it and about the screen basically there is yeah desktop so you have these windows open so whichever you like to share with them you can share with them if you feel so this is it when you are inside it you can keep exploring things and it will give you some further options i hope that uh, this small walkthrough helps you to use this app to its full potential thank you very much for watching